Hmm. Elevated. I love lyrics, this is tough, but I think my favorite song lyric um, that I can call to mind right now is probably John Mayer, um, Waiting on the World to Change. It says, when you trust your television, what you get is what you got, because when they own the information, they can bend it all they want. That's pretty genius. I would say um, to believe in yourself. No matter what the outside noise is telling you, no matter what everyone is telling you, no matter what anyone says, no matter how many no's you get, just believe in yourself and persevere and work on yourself and your craft and, and work on growing and work on being the best version of yourself because if you believe in you, everyone else will believe in you. You just got to keep doing it. Never lose that faith. It's kind of hard to describe anybody in three words, um, especially myself, but like, you know, me describing me. But if I were to choose, probably loyal, um, creative, and intelligent. When I'm on stage, I completely forget the rest of the world, and I'm very in the moment, very present, and very connected to whoever's in front of me, whether it's, you know, it's kind of funny, I actually have a better time performing, like a much easier time performing for large crowds than just like for intimate, like one-on-one -on -one people, so um, if I'm in front of people, I get nervous, but when I, and like a small group of people, but when I'm in front of a lot of people, I just feel like electrified. Meant to be. I think the biggest life lesson I have had so far has been about honesty and honesty with oneself, learning to love yourself and learning to um, find your worth from within. That's definitely been one of my one of my greatest lessons, one of the best ones that I've had. Um, just not allowing other people to tell me who I am or what my worth is and allowing myself to always assert that and where I'm going and where I came from and I'm the only one who who knows or who can who can build myself to get further so love Traveling to Thailand to live there for a little while, just like immerse myself in the culture is on my bucket list. Greatest bucket list. I'm like, I love traveling. <laughs> my greatest accomplishment besides X Factor in my career um, still kind of has to do with it but not really I think it's it's been having the platform that I've had and being able to to s inspire or to have you know young girls come to me and tell me that I am any sort of reason why they love themselves I think that's been my proudest accomplishment for sure like beyond everything beyond the career beyond beyond money every day um, it's just about for me fact that I can help anyone love themselves anymore or accept themselves or be able to go through this life feeling like they're less alone that that is what I live for <laughs> so when I'm writing songs I like to be completely alone in a bathroom <laughs> just genuinely like that's where I I find all of my creativity I don't know why but when I lock myself up and just kind of sit by myself in like a small space, that's where I feel the most comfortable to write. Um, also, I having good energy with whoever it is that I'm co-writing with, if I'm co-writing with someone, um, that is where I get in my element. Like if you chill and you don't really think too much and you like to throw out ideas and be creative and you don't put anything down and you just like, you know, you're you're working with the space that that's that's when I feel my best personally um
My favorite thing to do on an off day is honestly go to the beach, be in the sun, be in the water somehow, go on a hike, um, or just chill. It all depends on my vibe. Sometimes I just want to chill and not do anything at all and just be on Netflix and read and paint, but not always. So kind of the same question, but one place I would like to visit would be Costa Rica. And one place I'd like to go back to would be Jamaica. I had an incredible time in Jamaica. <laughs>